you think of almost like um, seas of cosmopolitanism. And major metropolitan areas around the world have much higher proportions of foreign born, for example. They have a richer cosmopolitan culture of cuisine and dance and festivals than they ever did before. And at the same time, we're often having rural areas being made more inaccessible, losing population. Much of Japan, for example, rural uh, Japan, has been depopulated, a mixture of declining birth rates and people moving to the cities. So we have Tokyo vibrant, alive, and much of rural Japan declining. Um, and in the same sense, this rural decline is part and parcel of a Japanese nationalism that's now occurring, partly in response to this loss of traditional rural ways of life. So it's not incidental, I think, that uh, population decline, rural depopulation is occurring just at the same time as Japanese nationalism is being revived and recovered. Uh, so that's that sense of uh, the kind of ambiguity of, of global processes in particular places and how they take on quite... Um, quite fascinating dimensions when, you, when you, you see them in this much more complex way of globalization and its discontent or globalization and its backlash.